Ayadini hitmaker Mlunja C. Bhutalizi is living in hunger. Ayadini hitmaker Mankonko, real name Mlunja C. Bhutalizi, is claiming to be dying of hunger because he has been apparently ripped off by music giants. Remember the hit song Ayadini which kept us up all night in 2018? Those were the better days. Now, the muso behind the single says he is now struggling to make ends meet as he has fallen on hard times. Speaking to Issa Leswe, Mankonko said he only received a penny worth of royalties, leaving him to worry about where the rest of the funds went. The muso who broke into the music scene in 2018 said his hit song only made him R4000. At the time of releasing the song, Mankonko says he had no contract signed with any company. It was only after releasing the song, which topped charts where he was apparently approached by a record company called UJU Records. Currently, because of the pandemic, he is struggling to get bookings and perform at events. I do not know where the rest of the money went. I do believe there are people who are feeding off of my hard work, he told the paper. He further added that he suspects the company of ripping him off but he is not certain. In an email sent to the publication, the Southern African Rights Organization, SAMRO, clear off any error on their part. The company claims Ayadini royalties were paid off in 2018 but according to their records, Mankonko is not the owner of the song. They then advised him to talk with the owners of the song. This story is just one of many and several artists have always been vocal about being ripped off by music giants. This takes us back to the ongoing feud between rap life former artists, Cuesta, Maqua, Noda, and many others. Maqua went on Instagram live and exposed the people who owe him money. A fight broke off between him and Noda who then took shots at Cuesta. They all point fingers at Cuesta but the rapper clarified everything but admitted to his mistake. As success came, through everyone's efforts, difference of ideas, mismanagement of funds and many other things led to distrust. I'm guilty of some of these things and so are Noda and Leroy, he said. He also added, Leroy handled the finances, Noda was the music executive and I, as Cuesta, was the catalyst to source funds through performances, endorsements, etc.